What's going on Cougar fans? Peter Borkowski here on the Cougar Sports Network bringing you this edition of Coaches Weekly. And once again, I'm joined by head coach of CUC Women's Volleyball, Coach Palmer. Welcome back to the show. Excited Thank to talk you. to you today. Excited to talk to you. Well, you guys have played in two more contests since the last time we talked season, moving along here. And the first one was this past Thursday, the Division Street rivalry right here in Geisman Gymnasium, taking on Dominican. And you guys handled them pretty effectively. Yeah. 3 nothing win for you and your squad. And we talked a little bit about it last week. We talked about it post-game after that game. But just being able to take down arguably the school's biggest rival in division, sure. probably a five-minute walk drive sure. just down Division Street, I'm sure that had to feel pretty good for you and your squad in the couple of days afterwards mm -hmm. that night, knowing that you got that win against a big rival and a good win in this late season stage. Yeah, yeah, it felt really good. You know, we were, you know, had a couple, you know, we're in the heart of conference right now, so we mm -hmm. had a couple nice wins in conference to get us back in the race a little bit for conference playoff berth. Mm -hmm. um, and so it just was really nice to be able to put a full game together and take care of business when we needed to and, right. you know, getting ready for what's coming next. Right, and something I noticed in that game, and I've noticed it a couple times before, is that that even when your team's playing well, even when you guys are up, you know, two sets, one set, whatever sure. it may be, you're not afraid to change the lineup a sure. little bit. I know in that third set you brought Eve Dickin in for the first time that yeah. night. And I just kind of wanted to ask about your thought yeah. process of that, of even when things are going well, yeah. you're still willing to go to your bench and kind of change things up. Yeah, you know, obviously we're, we're always looking for opportunities to get people playing time and, you know, opportunities on the court to succeed and help this team grow and develop and, you know, add depth and experience. Um, but also we're never going to be satisfied. We mm -hmm. always want more. You know, we want to keep going, keep growing, keep developing, you know, and reach our goals that we've set for ourselves. And so, you know, even if things are going well and we need to make a change, I'm not afraid to make those. Right. And then this past Saturday, you guys were up at another big rival at Concordia, Wisconsin. Yeah. And unfortunately, dropped that one three to one. And as head coach, I want to ask you just kind of what is the main differentiator for you between the games your team wins and the games that you guys lose? Is there kind of yeah. one thing that you pick up on coach of like, hey, we're doing this well tonight, we're probably gonna walk away with a win, sure. or hey, this isn't going our way, we're sure. gonna come away with a loss. Just what's kind of that main turning point for your team game to game, you would say? You know, it's just searching for that consistency, you know, getting used to traveling on the road. You know, we, we've handled it better recently than we did in the past. Um, just being able to go and wherever you're at, be able to play a high-level volleyball game. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if we took a five-hour bus ride or 10 minutes down the road or a five-minute walk. It does yeah. not matter. We need to be able to ready to play. And so sometimes we we struggle with that as a group, and it's just really got to be, hey, we're here. Let's play. Right. Um, you know, and sometimes things go really well and other things don't, and then vice versa. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's just finding that consistency of like, hey, this might not be going right, but let's find a way to win doing this Regardless. instead. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. Well, we continue towards the end of the season tomorrow night. Only yeah. six games left in the season, yeah. hard to believe, five of which are conference. Right. And it starts tomorrow at Aurora. Aurora yeah. always a tough team. I'm sure you're very familiar yeah. Yeah. with that. But as we hit this home stretch of the season, and you guys are going to need a couple wins to get yeah. into that playoff picture, yeah. What's really the improvements that this team needs to make? What is that step they need to make right now to kind of solidify themselves as, yes, we are a playoff contender. We yeah. deserve to be in that top eight. Yeah, I, you know, I think it's just continuing that mentality of, you know, we're good enough in this conference. We're good enough to make a run. We're good enough to make the postseason. You know, and offensively, we're going to have to crisp some things up. we got to score some points. You know, Aurora's no slouch in scoring points. Right. They're top in the conference right now mm -hmm. um, as far as scoring points and getting kills. And so we got to lean on our defense again. Our service he was really picked up, so I'd like to see that continue and then just scoring points off of those things. Mm -hmm. We're doing things well to get us in position to score, and now we have to score more. Right. So that's where I'd like to see. Definitely. Well, the Cougars heading to Aurora tomorrow night. That's a 7 p.m. matchup. Even though they're on the road, coverage for the game can be found at our website, cucougars.com. Coach Palmer, thanks for joining me again today. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow night yeah, at Aurora. It. And then you guys got Alberno here on yep. Saturday. Should be yep. a fun one as well. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to talking to you again next week. Yep. But until then, this is Peter Borkowski signing off of the Cougar Sports Network and wanting to say, as always, go Cougars.